Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Avery Mattel WWE video. This time we're talking about WWE Superstars figures that are coming out. Wave 1 was a Walmart exclusive wave with four figures of Honky Tonk Man, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, and Bray Wyatt. There you can see only at Walmart, WWE Superstars. And this line replaced the old Masters of the WWE Universe line. You can see they kind of still got that look to them as if they're He-Man figures. So that's where these are coming from. So here is your Honky Tonk Man with his guitar and his soft goods costume there. Nice little head sculpt there of him looking very much like Honky Tonk Man. You can take that soft goods off and see he's got his pants suit underneath it. It says Memphis on the back. It's got the guitars on it. Got his nice sideburns on his face there. And his hand holds that guitar really well. And there he is in package. Nice artwork on the back there showing him Honky Tonk Man with the crowd behind him. Next we have our Ric Flair. Got his sunglasses, microphone, extra hands. Really cool. He also has the soft goods robe as well. There he is from all three angles with the mic in his hand, sunglasses on and off, and again the robe. There he is in package. You can see the crowd behind him as well. Completely different crowd than what was on the other one. A little star there says includes entrance robe. And then you see Ric Flair himself with his famous Woo! Hollywood Hulk Hogan from the NWO. So very interesting they chose this one to go with first instead of the regular yellow and red Hulk Hogan got his painted NWO belt his workout belt it says Hollywood on it extra set of hands open and fisted look at the blue paint on the boots there NWO painted on the boots a soft good shirt for NWO and the bandana on the head with the sunglasses you can see that that shirt does come off there's the belt on the waist there holding the NWO spray painted belt over his head pretty cool looking figure And there's his packaging again with the crowd behind him. Includes NWO gear and the star. And then oh Hulk Hogan flexing in the picture. A really, really strange one here. We got Bray Wyatt looking like the Mad Hatter here. This massive bow tie on his neck there. Soft goods, the big top hat on his head. His glove says hurt. He's got an extra set. Of hands, one open, one gripping. There you can see both sides. You can see the back of the figure. He's got the blonde hair on the back with the brown beard. Very, very interesting choice here. And there he is in package. Includes the hat and jacket, it says. Alright, then we got our wave two. So here we go with wave two, four figures in it as well. With the Ultimate Warrior, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, NWO, and our Shawn Michaels with his belt. I should say that uh, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall also have their belts. So it's the Intercontinental Championship belt that Shawn Michaels has. He's got his sunglasses that can come off, a set of earrings on his ears, the blonde hair mullet there soft goods jacket that goes around him there got his white outfit on you can see he's got fisted and gripping hands there he is glasses on the face up on his hair the back of the figure showing 
I'm too sexy for this crowd. Got the chains on the jacket there. That's pretty cool. And you can see that jacket does come off. And there is the front and the back of the package in this wave too. So that's pretty cool. Specifically Shawn Michaels on there showing the other figures in the wave as well. The Heartbreak Kid. The Show Stopper. I'm not your boy toy. Then we have our Kevin Nash NWO with his WCW World Championship title. He's got his sunglasses, his leather shirt on there, his leather pants on there that have the frills on it. Three sets of hands. There you can see that NWO can come off. You see Nash on his shirt there. There he is from the back. He's got his tattoo on his arm. And there is his package from the front and back. Kevin Nash, Wolfpack Rules, NWO World Order. So this is where the big boys play. Too sweet. Then we got our other NWO star here with Scott Hall. Again with the soft good shirt on for NWO. The World Championship belt there for WCW sunglasses the spray can and again three sets of hands there he is with his shirt off a nice hair paint on the chest there it says haul on his gear there wolf pack on the back and there he is in his package front and back Scott Hall New World Order it's survey time one more for the good guys this is the good old days of wrestling right here There's all three that we show in package for this wave two so far, since we don't know what the Ultimate Warrior is going to look like in package yet. All three from the back. So here is the Ultimate Warrior, also part of wave two, but for some odd reason, he has not been released for pre-order yet. Check out that jacket with that artwork on it. That is amazing looking. But so far, all we've seen released are the three previously mentioned with Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Shawn Michaels. Kind of weird, I'm not sure what's happening there. So WrestleMania 2022 has revealed to us Wave 3 as well for the WWE Superstars. You see this nice little diorama display here with a ring. No ropes on it, of course. Zoom in a little further, you see some nice new figures showing up here. You see the original Wave 2 and some of the Wave 1 back there as well. But check it out. A little Undertaker, Mankind, Million Dollar Man. You can't see him, but there is a Papa Shango back in the back right. I'll show you here in a second. So there's nice shots of the Undertaker and the Million Dollar Man. You can see Papa Shango back to the back right of the Million Dollar Man. Ted DiBiase has got his money in his hand there. Soft goods for all of them, of course. There is your Mankind, and there is your Papa Shango. That was actually shown off a couple weeks ago by Ringside. It's a pretty cool Wave 3 there, reveals at WrestleMania. So finally, along with the rest of Wave 3, we finally see our Wave 2 Ultimate Warrior. There you see him without his jacket on, he's got the extra hands. And there he is in package, and you see the back of the package does say it's still a part of Series 2, along with the Nash Hall and Shawn Michaels, but we will be getting the Ultimate Warrior. And down at the bottom it says, coming fall 2022. So that's cool that we do see that on the back of that package. Not sure why it didn't get out with the rest of them, but he is released a little bit later than the others from Wave 2. So you see the jacket from the front. And there's the rest of Wave 3, along with that Ultimate Warrior. So here's the Wave 3 itself with our four figures. Let's start off with Mankind here with and without his shirt on. Both these shots don't have him with his mask on. You do see all the extra hands he comes with. Got the mandible claw there on the right hand. There 
he is with the mask on. Front and back of the package. Up close there, from the back you see his symbol. So here we have the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. You see all the extra hands he does come with. Also has this soft goods green suit there with the money on it. And also comes with a little stack of money in his hand. Here you can put his clothes on, of course. You got the dark beard, the reddish color hair, and he's holding his money. Front and back of that package. And you see on the back it is Series 3 and all the figures that are in this wave. There he is from the back. Again, the beard, different colors than the hair. Really cool. Next, we have our Papa Shango with his hat and his cape thing off in this picture and the necklace. There he is with it on. Extra hands. And of course, Papa Shango later on became the godfather. But here he is with his ring gear on, his hat. Voodoo curse beware, the spell has been put on you. There's the cape from the back side, there he is up close front with his paint on his face, his top hat and his necklace on. And then we got our Undertaker. You can see he does have all those extra accessories, the tie, the hat and the jacket. And there it is all on him, front and back of the package. Rest in peace, Tombstone Death Valley. There he is without the jacket on from the back and with it on from the front, showing he's going to get a little choke slam going on maybe. Alright, so at SDCC 2022, Mattel has shown off their WWE Superstars Wave 4 here. Got three figures here showing The Rock, Macho Man Randy Savage, and Mr. T. Notice right here they do not have their accessories on, but you do see the hands to the sides and the glasses and whatnot. But then check this out, extra accessories that they come with. Soft goods. So that is awesome. Well, not only are we getting these three, and you do see Walmart there on the side still, but now you got three more, so six in this wave. You got your Ravishing Rick Rude, you have your Earthquake, and you have your Typhoon. Now. I want you to notice this. I don't know how this is going to work, if there's going to be a variant or something, but when you look at Earthquake here versus the next picture, it's actually not any kind of extra clothing. I think with Typhoon, it's an extra soft good shirt. Rick Rude, you know, of course, he's just turning backwards, showing off his pants. But with Earthquake, I think that must be a variant. So let's get in and check this out. So they are in the display case, just like we saw last time at WrestleMania. So many more figures here. Not seen anybody from Wave 1 in this display, uh, but these are definitely the guys that we still have not seen in the stores yet. Just Wave 1 still hitting stores. So Wave 2, 3, and now 4, uh, we now are looking to see in the stores, hopefully. But you see your Typhoon, your Macho Man, your Mr. T, Ravishing Recruit, The Rock, and Earthquake. Your Macho Man Randy Savage with his extra hands and his robe there that he has put on. So there's more shots of Mr. Macho Man and his robe and his glasses and his headband with and without it. From the back, Macho Madness got the extra sets of hands that come with him, his robe there off of him. And there's the front and back of that package showing that this wave four is actually going to be Typhoon, Mr. T, Macho Man, and The Rock. Ooh, yeah. Mr. T with his soft goods outfit he can put on and his, his uh, extra rings there actually on his hand. That's kind of interesting. And his necklaces as well. That's awesome right there. We have Mr. T with it without his soft goods on. Both of them have his jewelry on. There he is without his jewelry. All the accessories he is coming with from the back. Showing the belt that he's got on there. The red belt holding his camo gear on. All different sides there. And then on his card. I pity the fool.
So there's your rock with and without his glasses on, with his soft goods on and without them. See his extra hands he does come with. And the microphone. Nice close-up of the rock. You can see him from the back there. Got the knee pads on. Got the pull on his, his uh, gear there. Got the sideburns, the eyebrow up. Sunglasses on. The microphone. Soft goods pants and vest. An interest in the vest. Looks like it's a, uh, a cow. So the fact that he's the Brahma bull, that's kind of funny. Extra hands. And there he is in package. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? No, you roll and shut your mouth. It doesn't matter what you think. Gotta love the rock. Here's your typhoon figure. Again, he's got that soft good shirt. You can take on and off. All right, so here we are with some more shots of typhoon and his soft goods that can come off there. Got the red boots, black knee pads. And there he is with his black trunks with the soft goods off. Extra hands, there it is, front of the package. In the back of the pack package, Series 4. Natural disasters, the most destructive force in WWE. Bad weather is headed your way and big splash. You can see the picture there of Typhoon, Mr. T, Macho Man, Randy Savage, and The Rock. You got a Ravishing Rick Rude, extra hands there. He's got the belt painted on his pants there and then a ultimate warrior paint on his butt there that's pretty cool front and back of the package keep the noise down simply ravishing and rude awakening on the back of the package there and here you can see this is called series 5 with earthquake and rude there on there but also showing macho man and the rock steel got the ring gear there the black and the little silver dots can actually reach his hands up on his head that's awesome and it says simply ravishing on that soft goods and then we have our other natural disaster earthquake here nice little rendering of the figures and there it is in package natural disasters feel the quake the ring is going to shake earthquake splash and again with the same pictures on the back there series five got the soft goods you can turn him into either the blue costume or the red costume that is pretty awesome. So there you see both of them together. And then just the red. So you can switch out the, the shoes in order to make him red. And also the knee pads. So here they all are loose. And here they all are in package. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.